Hey everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio. I did a live with um, my friend Peg Robinson from Art Joy Sharing Facebook group and Cindy Utter um, the other day and I condensed an hour and a half video down to I think this is about 28-30 minutes. This is my portion of what I worked on during the live. Um, I have made this kind of, uh, it, I don't know what you call it. It's just a little color cubes, and then you doodle inside the cubes. I got this from, I think, Pinterest, and I really enjoy doing it. And I've done like three or four of them. Some of them on Tantone paper. This is on watercolor paper. And this is a book that I made for Art Joy Sharing last year and I've only done four or five pages in it so I thought I would work in it during the live. So what you see is me laying down the uh, little squares, lots of just just random colors from the watercolor palette I'm working in and then I doodle inside them. But I bring out, you'll see later in the video, that I bring out a book that I bought in 2019, and I can't remember who told me about the book, but it's called Tangle a Day, and it's by Carol All with Zentangle Inspired Art by Margaret Bremner, CZT, which means Certified Zentangle Teacher. And every day of the year, you do a different Zentangle in the little square, so you will see that in the book. My book is... I, don't, I only made it to June that year. <laughs> I did it for about six months, and then I just, I didn't have time to sit down and do it every day. Everything is in black and white in this book, but it's a great book, and I used it as a reference for puddings and tangles in the little squares here. And I also flipped through, I think, another book I had that had um, previous examples of the same type thing in it to get inspiration from. Mm -hmm. I had a great time making it. It doesn't require a huge commitment of time, um, and that's what I like about it the best. It's very small little things that come together to make a whole picture. It's not like doing a journal where it takes you a year to work your way through it. This is like an hour or two at the most. Like I said, our chat was an hour and a half long, so I finished it in that hour and a half time, the painting and the doodling also. So it's not that huge of a time commitment. If you don't have an hour and a half to sit down at once, you can do two or three squares a day. Of course, that's going to drag it out a little bit, but in about four or five days, you could have it all finished, which is my kind of project. I, I have a hard time committing to anything for long, long periods of time because honestly, I lose interest. If it doesn't interest me, then I abandon the project. And that's why I have so many half-started journals and things like that is because I, I lose interest in it. So this year is the year I'm going to go back and try to finish some of them. And I, somebody made a comment in the video about I should pick up the rest of this book in June of this year and finish from June to December. So I am seriously considering it. I, let's see, the last, the last entangle I did on this was June the 24th, 2019. So I might have another go at it. I may not finish it again, but I would really like to complete this book and check it off my list of things to do for this year. So there it is on the camera. You can see that I'm using some of those doodles as inspiration for the little um, watercolor boxes. But this is the book I'm talking about. I don't know what month. I can't see what month that is. But there's the 10th, 11th, and 12th of the month. I'm using a Uniball Air Micro Pen after the watercolor has dried. And I think... I dried this with a heat gun. There are more days of some month I'm using as an example. I don't remember what month this is, but there's some more examples of little zentangles I can do in those boxes. 
it was a lot of fun doing the calendar. But something happened that year that I, I abandoned it in June. I don't remember what it was. So I didn't do a whole lot of talking at certain points in the live because I, I, can't, I can't always talk and doodle at the same time. <laughs> Thank goodness I wasn't chewing gum or it really would have been a disaster, right? They're flipping the page, looking for something else to put another um, little doodle in the box. I tried to cut the video down just things that pertain to doing this little page so that the video would not be an hour and a half long. I will link the full hour and a half live down below from Art Joy Sharing. And it's a Facebook page. Um, so you can go to the YouTube channel and watch the live video where we're chit-chatting and doing art. I taped my portion, and I think Cindy taped her portion, and so did Peg. So we each have a portion that we made into YouTube videos that pertain to our part and then we have the group live chat in the AJOS YouTube video. I'm not used to doing lives. So this was a challenge for me, especially where it came to setting up the cameras to do this. I found it a bit of a challenge. So I'm not, I'm not used to juggling cameras for the face and then down to my hands and running my video camera to tape on top of that. It was fun though. I have to tell you, it was fun. All right, I'm going to let the rest of this play. I might add some music, but I am done rambling on. Thanks for watching the video. I really appreciate it. Um, if you are not a subscriber, I would be honored if you would subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to make it to 2,000 people. And I'm going to make a good run at it. So I appreciate all the viewers, past, present, future. Thanks, everybody.